Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and this is my channel, Naturalista Beauty. Welcome if it is your first time here and welcome back if you've been here before, boo. What's up? So I'm in my living room and I'm about to film a whole look for everybody right now and I just wanted to show you what I have. So today I am reviewing Il Maquillage New York. I am reviewing their foundation and their concealer and I'll probably be using a few other products that I have from them along with the look but I will be providing you with a demo and just my, my first impressions of the product. So online, I did the matching system. It says how it works and you can try it for about two weeks and see what you think and then return it and you don't have to pay. If you wanna keep it, you pay full price and they'll take it from you. I didn't get to do the sample or anything like that because I pressed the wrong thing on the website or I was having a little issues, but we are gonna talk about that another time. It's, it's okay. I still wanted to really try this line and it comes with directions also to use the product. This is the box that it came in. I went online and I did the survey. Um, I was trying to do the survey so I could do the trial. And then, you know, like when you don't finish, um, when you don't finish the whole assessment online, they do email you to come back and offer you um, coupons and just just incentives to come back and finish matching yourself because they're just so sure that the product will match for you so I did that um, I didn't get to do the sample um, because when I pressed purchase instead of pressing sample I clicked full purchase for concealer and foundation so it is what it is like this was a long time ago because I been bought this I was I was supposed to I was supposed to already give you guys a tutorial. Um, I was supposed to already give you a review of this product, but we here. So back to what I was saying. So it says over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. So it says, oh, these are, um, okay, these are in. So I got the full size foundation in the shade. Okay, the woke up like this foundation in the shade 170. And I have the concealer. The concealer is called the Fuck I'm Flawless Multi Use Perfecting Concealer. And I got it in the color 13 also. Okay, so I love this packaging by the way. Like a lot of the products that I have tried from them comes in this little nice high end caliber packaging. So that's already a go for me. So I decided to try this foundation because it's very highly it's very highly tried on the internet and you see it everywhere. They have excellent branding, they have excellent marketing. So it just makes you want to try it even if you didn't purchase it yet. Um, and that reeled me in because I kept seeing it. So I'm just like, you know, let me do this. And then I saw a few people do the match online and then get the foundation and they actually, they actually like this. So I'm just like, you know, like I'm decent at matching online and let me see if, let me check this out. So. I got the foundation and I'm gonna just open it right now. All right, ooh, okay. So it comes in a glass bottle like this. I love that, oh, I love it. And let's see. So this is the color and it comes with a little pump. So it is one fluid ounce. That's the standard size for foundations um, that I usually see. That it looks like quite a good amount of product here, by the way. So I'm just gonna read this spiel that is on the box with the claims so we can adequately review this product, okay? The I woke up like this flawless base foundation smoothens and evens the skin, minimizes the appearance of shadows and pores, enhances the complexion and creates a flawless natural matte finish. The cutting edge formula offers a unique combination of medium to high coverage and a super comfortable, 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 weightless feeling. It's ultra fluid and easy to blend texture applies effortlessly and enables a buildable coverage to suit all needs for long lasting wear, pair with 
primer or setting spray. How to use, apply to skin using a sponge or foundation brush. Shake well before use. And okay. So it's supposed to give like a skin, like natural skin finish. So I'm interested to see what my skin does. I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no Jay. Be excited with me, boo. So this is how the concealer looks. I like that it gives you like a little preview so you can see the actual color of the product. And let me see how you apply it. <laughs> okay, it has an applicator. All right, so let's see. Hmm. That's a nice color. That's a nice color. Look at this. That's makeup I was using for my eyebrows before this video. That's a nice, that's a nice color. Um, it, it, I may need a little bit more brightening, but I'm gonna see how it pairs because I do want a natural look. So on these directions, I just wanted to point out what it says real quick. It says over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. So these are six steps that they're telling people to follow when they're trying out the foundation. Apply two pumps. To your entire face jaw and neckline wait five minutes for the foundation to set down into your skin before looking at the final shade and determining if it's a match do not match your neck or wrist they are a different tone than your face finish your face with concealer blush and bronzer come on i got the concealer too so we about to do that we about to do that right now i was giving you natural end of the day light but i'm going to show you the demonstration in front of my ring light and i'm going to sit on the couch you know a little casual we already got our rope here Let's see how the consistency is before i do it Ooh. okay so that was like okay so it's a liquid foundation it's not as thick it looks really thin and it's rolling down my arm let me try it real quick So if y'all didn't know, um, my hands are way lighter than my face. And I'm just going to show you my face in better lighting because I have hyperpigmentation around my face that it may be hard for other people to see. But once I put a foundation and everything on, everything just blends seamlessly. And yes, so let's do it. Going back, um, this is the foundation I will be reviewing. I'm just going to put two pumps. On my hand here I swear every time I'm filming a video my cat jumps in it she like y'all all right I'm just gonna apply to my already primed skin so I'm just gonna apply to that side of my face Y'all see that? Alexa, pause. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? So far, it's looking good. So, look, I did the left side of my face and I did not apply any foundation to this side yet. I just have primer um, in my brows and stuff. So, right now it's setting down and I'm feeling, I'm feeling it so far. Like, it's, it's like, 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's like shifting to magically seep into my skin, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. But I like it. I like it. So, I'm going to give myself a few minutes, and then I'm going to do the other side of my face off camera, come back with the full face with the foundation on. So, so I'm back. My cat is still behind me. Look at her. Misty, Misty, can you get out my video? Oh my gosh. I have the foundation all over my face. I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush to apply to my ears and have a seamless blend. And I just like, like to stipple it into my hairline. All right, so what I wanna say right now is that it has, it feels like it's nothing on, it's lightweight. I Like it's not oily, it's like soft matte. It looks like my skin. It does look like it's medium coverage, so it gives you some coverage, but like if you put another layer on, so you can see my hyperpigmentation coming through. Well, if you can't, I can, um, but. So it is medium, it is medium coverage and it says that it is buildable, so it's medium to full. So I am going to add another layer of foundation. Usually um, I pack all my foundation with setting spray um, just to give me that effect to last longer. So I am going to add another layer and show you how it looks with another layer on one side before I fill in the other sides. So I like this. I like this. It's like an airbrush kind of finish. Like you don't it don't even feel like you put anything on your face. Like so far, this is this is giving what it was supposed to give. All right. So I'll be right back. So this is my face with two thin layers of foundation. I really like it so far, and I'm just gonna give you a side-by-side -side look real quick. So now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. It says fuck, I'm flawless. And it is once again in the shade number 13. So this seems like just a few shades lighter than my natural skin tone. So I'm just gonna apply it directly to my face here. So let's see. Don't start off putting a lot of concealer at first. I'm not, I'm just someone who doesn't really like to pack on a bunch of products, so. I'm just highlighting certain parts of my face right now. And then concealer here, cause I'm gonna blend in around my mouth. Yeah. I think that's it right now. So let me, let's blend this in. So I usually take my foundation brush with whatever's left over on the brush and I go around the parts of my face that I just applied the concealer but go where the ends of it meet the foundation just to blend it out. And I'm going around my mouth to do the same thing. So, this is it. So 
so the concealer seems like it just seeps right into the skin just like the foundation does and I would definitely add more just to give myself more coverage but this is not bad but this is not bad at all so what I'm gonna do is finish I'm just gonna do a simple look I'm gonna come back and I am going to show you on camera me setting my face and just doing a few more steps before I come back it's okay I am back with these finished final results so what do we think do we like I like everybody I am back the last part of my video got cut off um, the memory ran out as I was demonstrating and showing you the final results I'm just here to talk about how I feel after trying out the makeup, the new foundation and concealer. So, foundation and concealer. Two thumbs up. It was lightweight. I loved it because it seeped into your skin after a few minutes and had a very matte skin-like finish. It was also an airbrush finish, so it looked like <laughs> unclockable, untraceable. I love it also buildable wasn't totally full but you can build it up from medium to full from what i see and the coverage is amazing the concealer covered up spots for me it was also buildable didn't crack open under my eye like some concealers i tried it wasn't bad at all i really 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 like these two products they were excellent um i will continue to use Il Maquillage, I also have some other products that I have from them. Mascara, eyeliner, some eyeshadow. These two products didn't, didn't let me down either. So the online quiz was very simple and to the point. It was an excellent match for my skin. Literally, you saw earlier in the video where it just disappeared into my skin. They both were good matches. The concealer was more closer to my skin tone. So if I wanted to highlight more, I would go a bit brighter, maybe one or two shades. But the matching system online was also good. So just give it a try. And they also give you a two-week a two week trial period, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and if it's not a match, if you don't like it, you could, you could send it back. You can send it back. So if you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up below. Also, do not forget to subscribe down below to my channel. Your engagement, your likes, your comments, your shares, everything helps 
my channel to grow and reach more people. Show me some love. It is also free. Of course, you nothing to show someone some love. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to check out any of my other tutorials, I have tons of makeup videos. I have tons of hair videos. And I'm adding more self-care videos also to my channel. So don't forget to put yourself first. And nobody got you like you got you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.